Hi guys, welcome to the first vlog. Yay! If you do not want to see the snake eat, I would skip like another minute and 10 seconds maybe past this part so you miss that. But if you do want to see the snake eat, then just keep watching. Have anxiety. <laughs> I can't do this. And sorry to disappoint guys I really wanted the snake to eat but apparently he wanted to eat in privacy because as soon as we left the rat in the tank and him by himself then he decided to eat so um maybe we'll get to see him do it on camera another time is that even rolling sure is Okay, so I went to TJ Maxx looking for two things specifically and they didn't have either one so I ended up with a whole bunch of other stuff. So, so first I got the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes and these are the Real Techniques Salmon Knit Collection with the sparkly purple handle. They're really cute. They're really good brushes and they're really affordable, especially they were at TJ Maxx. This was $6, $5 for the contour, and then $6 for the blush. So I got this um, spaghetti strap crop top specifically for these black, really high-waisted shorts that I have. And then I found this white, just a big, long t-shirt. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that's perfect for biker shorts and slides. And I think literally more than half of the clips that i filmed i'm wearing a black shirt it's not the same black shirt i just have a lot of black shirts and so i thought i obviously needed another one and this one was eight dollars it's like a silky one though and i don't have one like this <laughs> and i picked up two baby lotions for kaden oh i found garlic powder because we're out and it was right there so why not I found this red shirt and it was on clearance for $3.50. Like, how am I gonna pass up a $3 shirt? And then I know it's the same shirt in black, but this one was $4. I was like, why not? That's literally cheaper than a Walmart shirt. So, you got two shirts. And I also got him this Nike tracksuit. One really probably important thing, the only thing that I probably needed out of all of this was a baby gate because Kaden can climb up the stairs now and we had a baby gate at the bottom of the stairs but it broke and Kaden actually climbed up all 13 stairs. So I got a new one. So yeah, this concludes the TJ Maxx haul that was not supposed to happen, but it did. Literally every single time I think I go into, nine times out of ten, I'm going into TJ Maxx for one thing and I'm probably leaving with ten other things that, that I did not go in there for. I don't know if anyone else suffers from this problem 
If it's just me, the store is great. That's that. car problems. What do we want? What do we want to eat? I named 50,000 things. Three. Chick-fil-A. I always like Chick-fil-A. You like this one? No, Ty, please drive all the way to the next town to get it. I like the other <laughs> one. <laughs> I always do that. The classic is not in there. Yes, it is. That's a little How? I'm sorry. Okay, so today is the last day in the vlog, and today I probably vlogged the least, but we really didn't do anything. We went to Sam's because we needed stuff for the house. Um, ate lunch at home, went to baseball, came home, Kaden took a nap, then me and Kaden went to Kroger. But while I was at Kroger, I was like buying, obviously, groceries, and then I also went and bought pouches for him because sometimes he eats them when we're like on the go and also our oven is broken so i really can't cook anything this week so anyways i got him all these pouches and okay like obviously that's like 30 something pouches that's not a unheard of we're at a grocery store people can buy however many quantity of something that they want so all of the regular like checkout lines were full and had long lines so I was like okay let me go to self checkout but then apparently at Kroger when you're doing the self checkout you have to leave all your items in the bagging area like if it's full you can't take it off and then like rebag around so anyways so I had like 30 whatever six pouches and they're taking like a long time. They didn't want to scan. They're like flimsy, so you have to like bend them so the barcode goes. So the first Kroger employee, she's like, was at the other end of like where the U scans were, and I was at the farthest one by the door. So she was over here. Then she came all the way over here where I was, and she was literally standing right behind me, literally staring at me. Like, that was so uncomfortable like out of all the people here you think i'm stealing meanwhile someone else probably literally is stealing and you're looking at me it was taking me a long time to scan the pouches plus i had nowhere to put them so i'm just like stacking them up random wherever on the bagging area because i can't put them in a bag because i have too many bags already so then 
she goes away I don't even know and then a guy comes over and he's like over here on this end and then by the time I was done scanning and then paying and then rebagging the pouches because they were all over the place the man is right behind me again like watching me bag the stuff I'm like okay this is literally so uncomfortable and so rude like literally why are you over here so that was my great experience at Kroger today but at least some of the pouches were on sale this is the last footage that I'm putting in the, to the vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you guys in the next one